Hello everyone. Our wintry precipitation continues to fall across eastern sections of North Texas, mainly from a line from Hunt into Kaufman as well as Ellis counties. All this is moving in from the north to the south at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Now we do have a text dot cam along Interstate 20 at Kings Creek. This is in central Kaufman County. You can see the snow that's accumulating there on the grassy surfaces also along the sides of the interstate. So here's the travel plans for everyone if you're traveling along Interstate 20. As soon as you reach uh, State Highway 34 toward Kings Creek, extending into Van Zandt County, expect some slow conditions as well as some icy surfaces, especially on those bridges and overpasses. Then it changes over to freezing rain as you make your way from Van into Smith County, so which means take it easy and travel is highly discouraged to the east of Dallas this evening. So let's get back to the radar to show you what's happening in the upper levels. We actually are seeing snow that is falling, but it's still so dry in the lower levels of the atmosphere that all this is evaporating before it hits the ground. Now this is falling across Oklahoma. McAllister extending into Arkansas where they're dealing with some moderate to heavy snowfall, but thankfully that's moving out to the north and east. Now if you're traveling into East Texas and Louisiana, also in Arkansas, they're under a winter storm warning. They're expecting between one to two inches of snow accumulation, those sleet accumulations up to around a half an inch, and also ice accumulations up to one tenth of an inch. Now for North Texas, we're under a winter weather advisory until noon into Monday. We're expecting sleet and ice accumulations up to one tenth of an inch, which means we could see some minor effects on those bridges and overpasses. They could become slick, especially as we move towards your Monday morning. So here's that future cast indicating and that's where the radar is showing right now. The freezing rain and drills that's off to the south and east of us at around midnight or so. Notice it's now down toward Hillsborough, extending into Hamilton. And then as we travel toward Monday morning, notice Fort Worth and Dallas and areas to the south and also to the east, picking up on this freezing rain drizzle, wintry mix, even some snow off to the north and east. And about Monday afternoon into Monday night, all this will start to dissipate. We'll just be dealing with that mostly cloudy sky. So here's a setup where we're dealing with this evening into your Monday morning. Like snow along the Red River counties for Fourth and Dallas, central sections of North Texas, a wintry mix down to the south and east. We have mostly freezing rain. Now the other story, those temperatures were only 15 degrees at the airport. It is 13 into Terrell with 21 in the Parker County. Granbury holding in at 15 degrees and the feels like temperature still below zero, two below in the Fort Worth and one below into Collin County. That's why we have that wind chill advisory until noon into Tuesday. Bundle up if you're headed outside and all that cold air continue to move from the north where it feels like temperatures Kansas City 24 degrees below zero. So once again, that timeline of what we're dealing with, wintry mix we developed this evening. Still some light sleet and snow for Monday morning. Thankfully, it is a holiday, but still be careful. Monday evening, we're dealing with the mostly cloudy sky, but still cold and cold into your Tuesday. Finally above freezing as we move toward around Wednesday afternoon. So here's what we're expecting. Sleet and ice accumulations up to one tenth of an inch. Maybe some travel problems, especially on those bridges and overpasses as we move towards your Monday morning. If you don't have to travel this evening until Monday, just stay home. So once again, an S-band radar showing a little bit of some light snow that is falling from Mount Ellis Kaufman into Hunt County. If you're going to be traveling to the east of us, use caution. Be advised to be careful, especially along interstates 20 and 30. And once again, we have the winter storm warning in the East Texas. And for all of us, we're under a winter weather advisor for the latest weather and the latest on the S-band radar. Always log on to NBCDFW.com. Also, you can scan that QR code on the bottom of your screen for the latest weather information. So keep it here. We'll keep you ahead of the storm.